I just want to do a little quickie review of this testing setup I got for this solar. I got a 3000 watt, 6000 watt peak power inverter, pure sine wave. I think I paid, I don't know, 250, 280 dollars. So basically you can turn it on. It tells you your wattage output has four AC 120 outlets. This is the Wander Solar Charge Controller. So as you can see, the battery is in good condition. I have it set to flooded, which would be red, and the PV, which would be the incoming solar power, is blinking, which means it's active. I just used a tractor battery just for testing. I also have a grid tie inverter I'll be receiving in a few days. So I'll actually be able to hook up to the grid. So for now, I have the solar panels just running on this wire. And for right now, it's just outside, as you can see. So it's a little cloudy out now. But I've charged a few cell phones. I've charged a laptop. Um, just a couple small items. The green battery light does eventually go to yellow and red where at that point you shut off your power inverter and stop charging whatever you're charging and that will eventually after an hour or so go back up to green. Now if I had a bigger battery bank or more solar, more panels coming in, it wouldn't drain so fast. But this is just a little quick test before I start building a box and getting a battery bank set up. Now I'm, I'm going to have it charge the battery bank but mostly be on uh, the grid inverter when that gets here. That way it can always be putting power back in. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little video and I'll be updating this in the next few months here so stay tuned.